Welcome to the Equadian Legionella DNA Extraction Protocol video. In this video, we will demonstrate the proper technique for filtration of water samples and DNA extraction from the samples for Legionella testing. Legionella can be detected from water, biofilm, and aerosol samples. With current culture methods for detection of Legionella, it can take up to 13 days to obtain results. Using real-time PCR can shorten the time to result to just four hours, allowing for faster reaction time in an outbreak. I am here in the water microbiology lab. I have ordered and received my Equadian DNA extraction kit and the IQ Check Legionella real-time PCR kit. I've also got my handy quick guide so I can easily see what to do next. And of course, I always follow good laboratory practices. First, pipette two milliliters of R1 solution into a cryotube. The R1 reagent must be continuously stirring on a magnetic stir plate. Next, place a polycarbonate membrane filter on a sterilized filtration apparatus mounted on an air pump or vacuum flask. Filter 100 milliliters to one liter of your water sample. It is imperative you use a polycarbonate filter with a porosity of 0.45 microns to avoid PCR interactions. Now, using tweezers, carefully fold the membrane four times. Using tweezers, place the membrane in the crowd tube containing two milliliters of R1 solution. Vortex for 20 seconds and check that the membrane is totally immersed in the R1 solution. Incubate for 15 minutes at 95 plus or minus five degrees Celsius in a water bath and then vortex again for 20 seconds. Next, using long pipette tips, carefully pull out the membrane, pressing it against the walls of the tube to recover all of the solution. Leave the cryotube to rest for 20 minutes at room temperature. The resin in the R1 reagent forms a pellet at the bottom of the cryotube, while the DNA is in the 1.6 milliliters of supernatant. After 20 minutes, place the purification column in a collector tube and add 500 microliters of the supernatant to the purification column, being careful not to disrupt the pellet. Centrifuge the purification column for 10 minutes at 6,000 times G. After centrifugation, empty the collector vial. Repeat this process by taking another 500 microliters of the supernatant and adding it to the same purification column and centrifuging for 10 minutes at 6,000 times G. The next step is to elute the DNA from the column. To do this, add 100 microliters of R2 solution to the purification column and throw away the collector tube. Cover the purification column with a clean collector tube and turn the whole thing upside down, transferring the column to a new tube. Centrifuge for three minutes at 1000 times G and then throw away the purification column. Note that the cap cannot be closed in this step. You now have 100 microliters of extracted purified DNA. The extracted DNA can be stored at minus 20 degrees Celsius for several months. You can use five microliters of the extracted DNA for real-time PCR analysis using the qualitative kit for detection or the quantitative kit with standards for enumeration. To check out BioRad's complete range of water testing solutions and for more information, visit biorad.com forward slash water and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.